This is not a, it is not a, a trivial matter. Specific figures. Even in some cases, uh, alleged recovery, some of them have, uh, were said to have refunded part of the loot. You understand me? So it's a very serious allegation. Okay. We should insist. Yeah. Authorities should start the necessary uh, motion, uh, machinery in motion to get them tried. And if that do, did not happen, those who are accused should you know, openly come forward and say, we should be tried. Or they can or, go to God on their own. I mean, they, I mean this is still on trial process because the common wealth of Nigerians are involved. It's beyond, it's beyond the APC, it's beyond President Buhari, it's, be, it's beyond Vice President Osibajo, it's beyond PDP. We are talking of the, the common wealth of our country. Okay, Mr. Gwabo. The irony is that a good number of people on that list are already have cases in court already. This is just the twist. Cases are ongoing. Trial is on. So coming out with this list at this time is why I say government has, has a doubtful faith in the ability of the court. Are they okay by publishing these names and the huge sums of money? And then is it not a, is it a clarion call for the people to retrieve this money from these people? Is government saying that this machinery is incapable of first taking the case to court, prosecuting it successfully, or perhaps, oh, let the people go and retrieve their money. These are the people who looted your... You know, we must be very, very careful when things like this are happening. For me, we have cases of former presidents outside Nigeria being charged for corruption and being jailed so what do you think in a matter of weeks in a matter of weeks so where do you think that this corruption list or looters list where, is, where, where do you think it should start from Will it, where, should it start from possibly the 1980s or no, in the 1970s that's, that's even that would be absurd what i'm saying we have cases on hand we have cases in court why don't we wait for the process? Well, what I'm trying to say is that in order to see this list as a fair list, yes. not necessarily going on uh, along party lines, yes. where do you think this list should backdate to? Well, for this list, my honest take is if it is the product of investigations, fine. But government cannot be, be arresting people accusing them indicting them taking them to court and giving judgment that is not our democratic system government here being the executive government be the executive i the jury the other side of it is while the government is publishing its list and all of that um, again I, I go back to that court order um there is also the other part of some court orders that have been given and the government is not seeing to be responding to those court orders. Like some of those people mentioned there, have had cases against the government and they've won their cases. And the government has not responded to that. You know, uh, my lecturer here said just now that this should not just be a matter of PDP and APC. It's a Nigerian issue. Nigerians are the ones that I have a problem. Not APC, not PDP. And therefore, we must see this as, and pursue it as a way of guiding the future, as a way of ensuring that should this matter come up in the future, near or far, this is the template to address it. But that's not happening. If, if, if a court has ordered for government uh -huh. to publish, why circumvent that order? So does that mean that if the federal government had published the names and according to the judgment, which was in July, and then they say uh, they want the names of high-ranking public officials mm. from whom public funds were recovered and circumstances under which funds were recovered, as well as the exact amount of funds recovered from each public official. If the government had said, well, in compliance with this judgment, we're publishing these names, would you have disagreed with it? I would not have disagreed because it would be in compliance with a court order. One. 
Secondly, many of the names here now will not be there because they haven't refunded any money. And they are already in court. I think we should make certain clarifications here. I agree with you to the extent that uh, cases pending in court ought not to be prejudiced Absolutely. by, by uh, the disclosures concerning those cases. I think it was an error on the part of government to have, uh, you know, zero in on those cases already in court because that is like, that is like, you know, whittling down, you know, the, uh, the jurisdiction of our court. That is wrong. But for, uh, for, uh, but for the fact that the other issue is the issue of an existing court order, which is that government should be, you should publish names of those who, who have looted our funds. And the reaction to that order, whether government makes specific reference to that or not, if that order exists and it has not been set aside, if, if, if by publishing this name, it's indifference to the order. Government could justify what it has done. So they could link it with the order. Uh, yes, because if, even though Sarah says uh, this is not you, you what understand me. the court but, said. But the, 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 the fundamental issue which still exists is that if investigations have been concluded in respect of certain persons are led to be holding our money in the, in the midst of hunger, poverty, unemployment, uh, inf infrastructure deficit, Nigerians are suffering. For God's sake, this country belongs to If so, persons are holding it, now a responsible government should go a step further to ensure that these people are properly arranged. That's in, in addition to publishing the names. Yes! I will, why publish names when there's an institution uh, constitutionally you know, charged with the responsibility of adjudication? You understand? That's one. Yeah. That's one aspect. And it's, uh, and it's very fundamental to me. Secondly, I'm also worried about reputations. Yeah. I'm worried because. Once reputation.